um, in Article 1 of the Constitution, the right to a writ of habeas corpus can only be suspended, quote, in cases of rebellion or invasion, the public safety may require it, unquote. Do you still think the NDAA violates habeas corpus? And this is for Harry. I haven't studied that but the entire piece of legislation to speak with any authority about it, Judy. I wish I could give you some definitive action. I can, I can tell you this much. I do not trust any government that operates in the level high levels of secrecy that our government does. And the reason I say that is because our government right now has, when John mentioned treason, <laughs> that's an interesting word. I work with and listen and study professors of medicine who pointed out that our government has allowed private corporations like Monsanto to poison every man, woman, and child, including those unborn, with over 85,000 of the most toxic chemicals known to man because the oil and chemical company lobbyists got all of these chemicals that we make a trillion gallons a year of excluded from EPA review. So we hear a lot about freedom, but what freedom means to corporations is that they can profit by poisoning millions of innocent people. And if they get by with it, if they make money with it because no one seems to either be aware of it or care. But these are massive insults of, that is involved in this massive secrecy of so, our government. So if you, if you uh, made it and if you outlawed um, the mass poisoning of people, um, wouldn't that throw the whole uh, uh, chemical industry into a disarray? It's a rhetorical no question. More, no more poison in the food, no more poison gasoline, no more poison diesel fuel. We'll be running everything on hydrogen made from water with energy from the sun. So basically That's what, what you're saying is instead of uh, polluting and, and poisoning people, we could be running uh, businesses that were clean. Not only clean, and, too, and it's all over this country. It's all heavily polluted everywhere you go, even in Iowa. And these pollutants are highly toxic. You inhale them into your lungs, they get into your blood, into your brains, and then that's what's causing this epidemic of autism that we hear about in the news. And and, and uh, cancer, actually, cancer rates. And cancer yeah. and dementia. These poisons are taking us apart on a molecular scale inside our body. You know... And yet... I've been writing about uh, in my blog about uh, cancer rates in China that are just outrageous. So, um, yeah, we we are all suffering from the same problems of of uh, poison. Jail. Okay. We are oh, JL, I'm sorry, JL. Why don't you give us a one minute rebuttal to this question of uh, the habeas corpus? Okay. Now, if uh, let's have a for example. If uh, all of a sudden um, us three decided we were going to form a little group and uh, you know make a move on the state government or on the federal government and attack them and just start you know destroying people in the streets, you know anybody anyone that got in our way, okay, the president has a duty to stop that, okay. However, if we are having this debate that we're having right now and we speak badly against the corporation or badly against the, uh, the government, Congress, the, the president has no authority to come in and nab us with NDAA and the various other Patriot Act laws. They somehow came up with rules and laws where they believe they can suspend our habeas corpus and just take us and place us wherever they choose and wipe us off the face of the earth. That is wrong. That is totally wrong. However, once again, I would use uh, Title X against Congress and hold them accountable for their crimes. Okay. And uh, to me, that is the only way to clean up the mess, but not against the citizens that are just, you know, voicing their opinion. Right. Like we are right here. Okay, so, so um, Harry, uh, do you have... Anything else to say about habeas corpus? Because really, what we're talking about is um, we we want to make sure that these laws that are put into place aren't eventually 
uh, taken to their extreme so that people in the United States have to be worried about their life or their their bodies being taken and uh, um, indefinitely detained without trial, without without even being charged. And and I, I, yeah. do people have to? I, I mean, do we we have to worry about that now? Maybe not now, but uh, in the future. Yes. Oh, we have to worry about it now. Absolutely now. Oh. The Big Brother. George Orwell could not have foreseen how extensive Big Brother has become in our lives. And it's, uh, it's scary uh, what they're getting away with. And this includes the Obama administration, which is actually worse than the Bush administration. And I didn't think that could be possible. But as it turns out, these large secretive corporations are working hand in hand with police departments. And uh, they can tap anybody's cell phone anytime for any reason. Uh, no court orders are required. We're running amok in this country. There is no one in control. That's the problem. It certainly isn't the president. Uh, 30 seconds, Shale. No, it, it should be the president, but the president is uh, owned by the corporations, owned, owned by the, uh, the bad guys, the lobbyists. Um, at least Harry and I agree on that part. Um, Congress, the president, the current president, the past, I don't know how many presidents, all the way back to Andrew Jackson. I've been owned by the uh, lobbyist and the special interest. That right there is a crime in itself. And uh, habeas corpus, uh, you know, <laughs> I know, I just jumped that. I like to say uh, Obama doesn't own his balls. <laughs> John, it's not a crime to take bribes in a republic. That's, that's all republics are, bribery machines. That's all they owe. Well, operate on is bribery. Huh?